Okay, Jocelyn. I think Say hello. Oh, hello, hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> um, it just looks a bit busy. I'm wondering if we could find a bit of horizontal structures to it. Now, if you're going to hang the three together... I don't know. Should I hang them together? I've got the frames, okay. right? I've got the frames. I can right. either hang them together. Right. Should you work, if you were going to hang them together, you've got two different eye levels. The middle one has a higher eye level, yep. so you're looking down on it more, and so the water level at the back is fairly high. Yes. Now, these others, it's a different thing. So, the, you know, if you wanted to do that, you'll need to find a horizontal right through the whole lot yep. and establish a water line that's sort of three quarters way up. You could raise the left one one, you could lower the middle one. It's quite possible to do it. But at the moment, it's, it's all over. The, and David it, thinks it's too angry and churning well, well, water. But, we, but these things will fix that if you get a horizontal across there. So if, where do you think? Have the you got a long stick? Have you got a long stick? Yeah, I've got a long stick. Okay, Hang on. okay, I'll show you. Hmm. It's very simple to do it. I would do it because I think they it would benefit from being together. Now, uh, right now, I would probably uh, un the underside of it. I would right. Go about there. The underside? The underside. The Take that off there. And that means you'll have to raise this to there. Hang on, I'll put it up again and I'll put the charcoal. I'll put the film there. Okay. Right. I don't know whether I've got that horizontal up. Okay. I don't like diagonal sticks. So really? You need, in your studio, a straight stick. Go around one of the tips. So uh, along there, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to that point up yeah. there. Why don't you get yourself? I use it all the time. A long, really, flex, very thin, long flexi stick. Okay, it's so useful in a studio. So okay, you think if you did that, and then right. you come down to about there. So raise yep. that to there. Okay, so okay. And then the same along there. I think raise that a little bit. If you establish a horizontal right across, then I quite like the fact that this comes through. But I think it could be a little bit more definite over to there, yep. rather than looking as if it's a piece of that. Yep. So yep. I think if that comes to there, like that, yep. and I think, again, you do lots of corner things, I, I think be a bit more definite with that, so that it does come through, if you want to do that. I think that would You don't think that. the blue's too blue? Oh, you always do those light blues. I would put a bit of Naples yellow in it if it was me. Right. And that would just warm it a little bit. Yeah. And that would make a big difference. I, I find a light blue is a discord and it really is very, very worrying. Nice drawing in that tree. I quite like that. Better drawing than you often do. That's very good. This tree looks as if it's growing on a thing that's going to be swept away. You might end up, instead of all these jagged lines, you might end up with something a little bit more peaceful. And I think... If again, if you can have a, a quieter rhythm down here, that's beautiful. I wouldn't change that, but maybe that rock. And if you keep an angle there and repeat that angle, which you have got there, so that angle becomes that angle. Right. So if you took that through to there, a bit of charcoal. Oh, God. Hang on. Where's the charcoal? Hang on. Okay. It's just a matter of geometry. It's... It's always geometry. If you get the geometry right, it will it will work. So you've got that to there, do that. So that just is a little bit more like that. See, straight away, you've got yep. a piece of geometry like that. And yep. that'll pick up some other thing. And you'll find the rhythm works. Then if you come across to there, get rid of that, right. and, and have that there, and repeat that sort of feeling to it, and you'll find it. You know, you can have a little dingle in it, so it just goes like that or something. Yep. But but something that'll keep that rhythm going. If you don't want it too repetitive, you come down a bit somewhere. Yep. Or you have a bit of light on it there that okay. slices in or something like that. I think that'll be a lot better. So I just think you have to you keep doing too many things unified. Get a big brush and simplify. I know. It. But I think if you do that there, yeah, and then that'll... Through there, yeah. I'm only doing it at arm you know, height, it may not be the quite the right height, yeah. But if, if that's my arm height, there, a bit of light reflection and something up there, I'm sure can be done. And I thought, oh, it's got to go higher, I'm too low, okay. I, I, you'd have to measure it from yep, no. the base up. That was what I so you so. Warmer blue, like go in with a bit of Naples yellow. Don't yes. go any blue at all, but just go, just put the Naples no, yellow no. in. No, no, mix the Naples yellow with the blue. Right. See, that's a much softer blue. See, that's lovely. I know. It's a grey blue. I mean, you've probably got a bit of mauve in it or something like that. 
And, and it's just warm as it is. What do you think I should do with that one, though? One over there on the right. Boring. Oh. I like the bottom bit. I like the top bit. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Bottom bit's a bit worrying unless you could have a... Something that just... It's just a bit confusing. I'm not sure... I know, because I did it two paintings. I tipped it upside down and I put it back together again and all that. Mm. But I quite like the bottom bit. Do you? Mm. Only because I think it looks... It's a bit abstracted. Okay. Um, maybe the line Maybe I'm too trying to strong. see too much realism in it, but... That just worries me around there. Okay. What? Give the charcoal and just fix it. I'm not sure. I just I think it's more a drawing thing that I'm not sure about the what that log is. Is it a log in the water or what? Well, is well, it? well yeah, it was a log. Pretty boring. And now it's a waterfall. It's a pretty boring log. Is it a log or is it just a ridge in the oh okay. Well, I mean you could maybe make it a more well, interesting. You could have a waterfall, you could have a Coming through there and down there and a bit more down there and that could be quite lovely. Well, I didn't want to make it too pretty, pretty. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Okay. All right. But then it's sort of becoming so twee. I want to abstract it a bit. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I, I do like that top bit. I think that. Oh, I like the soft bluey grey. If you use that in some of your other. Well, I think that's bit. where. Yeah. But um, yeah. so this was these were my main problem, but and I've spent so many hours on them, and then it's fine. establish a horizontal. It's nothing like a piece of geometry. Okay. Horizontals and verticals establish things, and they keep a lovely simplicity in things. They're great. Right. It's just it looks a little bit thick. Do you there. think it's too heavy? Yeah, it's a bit there. It looks. Could I thin. put a tree over the? Do you think if I put something over the front that will cut that back a bit? Yeah, that might help. Yeah, a bit of foliage, you might just lose it a bit. It's, it's, might, a it's a bit too it looks, dominant. It looks like it needs an angle bracket from Bunnings to hold it up. Maybe it's a great big sorry. tree on the left <laughs> holding it up. I'm sorry, I'm shaky. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> but you see what I mean? I'll take my <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. right, okay. So if yeah. I... Yeah. Just yes, it could it. be either a ledge or it could be a tree trunk. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, if yeah. I want to make it a tree trunk, I need to... I'll give it some liposuction. <laughs> okay. You know, just cut it in from the top right. and the now, bottom. Most of it's quite nice, I think. I don't know why you stop things like that like there. Why don't you put a bit on the other side of that little trunk there? Just a tiny bit. Right. And I think it, those bits of poetry are lovely. And I'm not sure what I can't reach there. I've got a brush to point with. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I cleaned uh, up to come to you. I cleaned up. I, I cleaned this top. up for you. I actually put it in the top. <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe that I've actually cleaned up for you. That funny smudge is a bit odd. Yes. I don't know what it is, but uh, this bit of light that's there, I think if that was just sort of on okay, the other side. Okay, carry it through yeah, like, a big, those, like a big those rock. Those backlit things are very lovely, and you could make more use of those things. Right. This looks a bit scratchy around there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, maybe some of these little pale blue trees could just come up and be a little more poetic there. They sort of are there, and it, it looks like you've got lots of half thoughts. Well, what happened is I came back from overseas and not actually painting anything for yeah. ages, yeah. and this was all tight, and right. it looks quite sweet in the photos now. But yeah. Yeah. I look back and yeah. I just I thought yeah. no, and see look at all the little brush strokes. I just found that yeah. coming back from overseas is okay. a real Fair chore. Enough. That's a bit yucky. Right, a bit more definition. Well, it's unpleasant paint. It's yucky. yucky. Well, it was yucky. really nice when I put it on with a big spatula. I went, oh, God, that looks really artistic. See? Oh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like misplaced chewing gum. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll oh, fix that. I'll, I'll, make, it, I'll make that more defined here. Okay. I'll make that more defined there, fix this up a bit. It's, well, just I those. was happy with it, but now I'm not. Oh, no. See those little have you got white chalk, is that? No. No, that's... No. White I've chalk got blue chalk. White chalk's really... I've got... Light, light look at this white. Okay. Oh, I've got oil. What, white I'm oil. I'm some compound. No. Oh, just, I've got all... See, I just look. See this little tree here? Yeah. Just take, take them up just a little bit there so they just have a, a little more poetry there. And I think that might give a little poetry to that middle part there. I think that would help. Well, now that you've and told that, me all this, I need to redo the whole thing. Just don't stop things with a rock. Is that going right down to there? That might be quite nice. Can. Yeah. I'm revisiting this whole thing now. Oh, my God. Okay, Hang that's, on. That's all right, Vic. What about this colour? So this is a pretty colour. I can, oh, 
I could bring you around some Conte if you would. If you were sure. I'm sure I've got some. It's just I've got. I've still got you lots can of, see the mess I'm in. I've still got lots of those big tubes. And oh, fantastic. Oh, here's, here's me. You need to. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I know. Right. I've got red Conte. Yeah. I've got. I've got another one. Found a little one. Look, look at that. So you could just see where that yellow is there. You could take a little light just behind there. I don't think it'll it'll pick up now on that because it's wet. But no, it's just wet. But just oh, a couple of touches, just so that just to continue that a little bit. That might help. I think. What this yellow over here? Just a here. tiny touches. Look, just between the stems, so that you're actually yeah. making the. Well, that's why making, I up. You, you're good at that. Yeah. Make up the thing by yeah. cutting in. The pick cutting in. Yeah, that's good. All right, last one, Jocelyn. This one. This had a blue river this morning, 10 minutes ago, and it was two twee. So I looked up in the one that we did together that Margaret Pond's got. Oh, yeah. And it was too blue. I like that distance. The cliff is beautiful. This is, I love this. That's lovely. Too, I love yeah. that bit. Yeah, I don't like the blue, but it's, uh, it's, it works well. That's good. And I, yeah. I'm using these branches that come over from oh, the top. Oh, it's a bit, but it's nicely too drawn. Much. Is it all right? I don't know why the branch is growing backwards. <laughs> okay. That's all right. You do these things. Is it? Well, if that branch was going that way, that branch would go that way, not backwards. But if it works with the composition and it does, leave it alone. Okay. Nobody questions a, a liar if it works well. So okay. I don't know. I really like this sort of little bit here, but then it doesn't really relate to anything because there's no cliff or anything. So I think I have to get rid of it. Don't you? It's a bit pale blue when there's no other pale blue. No, there. no. Well, it was really I blue. Somehow it does need it though, I think. I think yeah. I quite like that bit. I think I'd leave it now. I'd leave it. I'll so maybe just right. put, I've just put in the, the rocks. Yeah. So maybe put a tree here, sort of more. No, I don't add anything. Nothing? No, just a little highlight on the rock there and there, just a tiny bit. Just make that a little bit more definite, perhaps. Yes, I'm not about that dark. I suppose one of the things is with that branch up there, it's translucent paint. And I suppose that's a... Well, I just thought I'd want to make it different to my other one, so yeah, I thought I'd break enough. in that tree. Yeah, you're just going to watch your drawing a bit. See, in there, for example, suddenly this yucky, thick thing comes Yeah, in. I actually tried to get rid of that by well, these, putting this here. No, but what, why don't and you mix, because that, mix that colour and cut in a bit? Okay. Simple enough there. Yep. See, I was trying to hide the mistake. Oh, no, you've got these little, in that other one, you had some bits of hanging bark. That might establish some verticals there. It might help to frame okay. a bit because the energy, diagonals are energetic. This is always the thing in composition. Right. I used to do lots of exercises with the students like that. And you do horizontal compositions, which give peace and tranquility. Verticals do too. And then, of course, diagonals are energetic and they need complementary angles. So you need to have a right angle, to, which you have got there. But don't forget, once you put a strong diagonal in the top corner, it gives so much energy to that top corner that it becomes another piece of drama. Now, right, yeah. and so you've got to work out where the hero is. Well, a little bit, but, I mean, you could fix that by... I mean, it's a lovely piece of beautiful sort of I, yeah, Arthur Boyd quite, sort of drawing. I was quite happy with that I don't, branch. But <laughs> it's a lovely piece of dancing, but is it in the right picture? And you know that when you've done a white background like that, you don't want to... Mm. bugger it up by putting stuff over the top no. so and oh. then it's sort of like you you're making yeah. a big decision yes but i need to fix it i think I th well you could have it just uh, lose it a bit here and then not quite so dark perhaps around oh, okay. here you could have just a little bit of something to lose it even a bit of orange or something just soften it a bit it's just a little bit you know it's just you you do these clumsy things like that's a very clumsy piece of drawing Excuse me, being rude to you. That's but, all right, Tussle, I'm could, used to it. But you could, <laughs> you could just make that better. Got my like big girl pants cutting, on. Cutting into it a bit and get a little skinnier as it goes up because that branch is skinny and then... Yeah, I get lazy. You know, it's, I think a lot of it's lazy. I think you work at such a speed, which is well, But then I do a speed and then I just keep painting over the same stuff all the time. Mm, one does that, you know. I love that bit. That is magic. That is Tom Roberts. That's beautiful. Tom Roberts. I'm taking that one. <laughs> Arthur Streeton. It's oh, got well, a just a good. lovely feeling. Only 500 that. bloody layers. <laughs> all right. I'll work okay. on that. I'll work on that. Well, put the three together and see if you, as David said, they're looking too angry. Yeah. And horizontals will give peace. 
Verticals will give energy going up, but horizontals will always give peace in a composition. Say so thank you to everybody. Okay. Thank you, everybody, and lovely to see you. Now, this is, uh, this is Jocelyn. Hang on, let me see. <laughs> Jocelyn. <laughs> who oh, is oh, my fabulous mentor and oh, she's so on, fantastic. Oh, no, Vanessa's brilliant. Don't worry. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> it's okay.